Hi everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. This is lecture 14 on import design stage where we shall be looking at some very important and interesting topics for those who are in academics and in professional engineering world. So far we have discussed that these are the inputs that are provided to start a design. We have looked at each individual input in detail in previous videos. Today we will be looking at first step of design that is importing the design. Before we get started, there are some more inputs which we want to briefly discuss apart from these inputs which we have already discussed. There is something called as optimization directives which are provided as input to the physical design team. So this optimization directive is generally provided in the form of constraints. What it contains it? It contains list of don't use cells which you don't want the tool to use in your design. Then there is a list of don't touch cell. If there is any cell which is already present in the design, you don't want tool to touch it in any way so that it cannot be removed during optimization. Then there is a list of size only cells which is provided as constraints in form of opti uh, optimization directives. So this size only cells, if these are present in the design, tool can only upsize or downsize it for optimization purpose, but tool cannot really remove it. So these are the optimization directives which are present as part of constraints in the design. Then apart from this input, there is something called as power spec file. So power spec file generally contains the list of power modes, power domains and power ground net information. And apart from this, there is IO information file. So IO information file is something which contains the list of interface ports of your design. What are the directions of each port? Like, like it could be input or it could be output and in which metal layer the two this uh, port is present and then the, what clock it is associated with such kind of information is present in io information file and then there is one more input that is saf file which is an optional input if it is present then it contains switching activity information so all the so all the uh, critical uh, critical cells which are switching so mostly it is about clock related cells like clock gating cells so such cells if there are cells in the designs how it is switching how much is the switching activity of those cells that is contained in the SAF file it helps in power optimization specifically dynamic power optimization so these are the inputs which are also provided as the input to physical design team. This is the VLSI spectrum that we have already discussed. So in this physical design, we have already seen that from partitioning to sign off LV, we have PNR stages and then sign off stages in physical design. And then before starting the partitioning stage, there is something called as import design stage. And this is what we are going to discuss now. Importing the design means we have these inputs which we already discussed so we all put together all these inputs we create one library earlier it used to call it as milky way library or mw lib so mw lib stands for milky way library in which all the inputs that we are giving are going to be present and part of it now it is this this uh, this was synopsis format and uh, it was used in earlier versions of IC compiler that is ICC and ICC2 and after that in, uh, since ICC2 migration we have a new format which is called as NDM format. NDM is also very similar to Milky Way library in that also we, sp uh, we store all these inputs as part of the library and NDM stands for new data model that is the expansion of NDM and in one NDM with same technology and other libraries you can store multiple databases so if you make some changes in the databases in your db you can store multiple databases in the same milky way library or same new new ndm so in one ndm you can have multiple databases like db1 dot design dot design is the extension and you can have one more db2 dot design both in the same milky way library you can store so that is new data model. This is how you start importing the design. Once your NDM is created, 
then you do the sanity checks to ensure that you have all the inputs and uh, everything is correctly in place and there are no issues in the design so there are certain sanity checks which are performed so first sanity checks that we do is related to floating pins so you cannot have floating pins in your design especially input floating pins so you should not have any inputs which are floating this we need to check then we have to check whether we have any unconstrained pins if there are any unconstrained pins then we need to check with RTL team or synthesis team that these unconstrained pins there is no delay on it is it expected or not then third sanity check we do is un uh, undriven inputs and outputs so you cannot have undriven specifically undriven inputs so if there is any port or uh, which is uh, which is not having any connectivity so it is undriven and you cannot have unloaded output so unloaded output means you cannot have any output port which does not go anywhere so it is simply dangling you can say that these are constraints related to dangling so you cannot have any dangling ports in your design dangling ports in your design then fourth sanity check that we need to do is whether our ports are correctly matching or not so we have to check for port direction that whether if there is any port which is input port it should be represented in our design as input ports and output port should be an output port only direction should not change so that we need to check and there is one more important check that is multiple driver related check so you cannot have an input which is driven by multiple drivers so let us say that you have a buffer then its input pin cannot be coming like this this is called as wired and and it is not allowed so if you have any any cons any path which is having a driver which is coming from uh, which have there are two drivers which are driving the same input then this connectivity is not allowed and if at all it is there we need to check why it is coming like this so there are certain special cases like clock path where you can have such kind of multi-source design but if it is there we need to check whether it is really needed or it is coming correctly or not other possible issues that we need to check for is unconnected or wrongly connected tie high or tie low pins so there are certain pins called as tie high and tie low this is nothing but a logically connected pin which is logic one or it could be connected to tie low means logic zero so if there is any connection which is done like this you have forcefully connected some input or output to logic one or logic zero then we need to check whether it is really part of your constraints or it is coming correctly or not so sanity check is nothing but quality control check which is related to your lib and left consistency and other things we check are related to your ios and other things that we also check are related to your design quality so this sanity check ensures that you have a quality uh, wise everything is intact and there is no inconsistency so we check for inconsistency in the sanity check that's all for this video we will come up with more concepts in further videos please like share and subscribe to the channel thank you